I think I'm alive. I think. I, d I do believe that's... Good. Well, I haven't streamed by myself in a long time. And Aaron and I are pretty much out on seven days to die. So, yeah. I thought I'd do something a little bit older. Here, here we go. Um, I think... I think the sound is working. I think everything is going okay. Yes, heretic. Heretic. If you've, uh, if you're watching this and you've never heard of heretic, it's a game. It's a good game, but it's a really old game. Fixing a bunch of settings. The sound might be terrible, but we're going to, we're going to try it. So I don't really, I haven't played this in a while. So I'm just going to get into it. So this is this is like Doom. Like the original Doom. Same some some of the same team? No, none of the same team. Same engine. Same engine. Um Yeah. These are these are good difficulties. So Her Heretic is a shooting game where you play at yeah, just covered him up. You play as the the elf over here. That's you. You are the elf. These skeletons never make an appearance. In fact, this picture looks very different than the actual game. Sadly. Oh, there's that crunchy midi. Oh, it's good. I don't know if you can hear it. The sound is very loud. The music, not so much. Let's, uh, let's adjust. Okay, so I don't know how far I'm going to play tonight, but I'm just going to get started. So the difficulties are, um, well, they're, they're this. These are the difficulties. That's, it's loud in my ear. I don't know if it's loud on the stream. It's hard to tell. But I won't do this. I'm just going to turn down a little. Um... Okay, so there's three campaigns. This is this is the '90s, and this is what happens in the '90s. So um, I'm gonna pick the second to highest difficulty because I art a smite meister. All right, so I'm playing this on um, GZ Doom, which means it's got like modern controls, it's a modern engine, and all that good stuff. Um, Alright, so they just throw you in, right away. This crap happens. So your first gun is terrible. It's not a gun. It's a stick. It's a stick. Okay. There's a secret here. So I know a lot of the secrets at the beginning. Of the game. And then as the game progresses, I know less and less. Is that? That might that might help. There we go. There, I think my voice will be a little more prominent now. Just uh just a little bit. It's a good game though. I played this as a kid. I mean this is old. Um I played it when it came out. Why my parents allowed me to play this when it came out is an interesting question. It's not as bloody and horrific as Doom. I mean, I say that. I say that, but... I mean, I, it's true. Okay. Alright. These guys are bad, but there are... Most of the enemies in this game have a... Uh, have a normal form and then like a worse form. They they like to reuse their assets. This is the weird golem guys. They explode into blood despite being made out of rock. I wonder if that's a secret. Okay, I don't remember them being back there though. There is 
no ammo for my crystal stick. That's pretty effective. Alright, let's go get the thing that helps when there's no ammo. Crazy psycho gun. Gloves. Crazy psycho gloves. Okay. It's still too loud. Streaming is fun. Because you... Ooh. I did not mean to... Oh, let's do that. This was a mistake that might pay off. This sounds interesting. I like this. That's smooth. That's good. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it like that. This sounds a little bit more like I remember it. All right, so we dead. These are uh, the gloves of mutilation or something. Uh, did we go in here? I'm playing this well. Somewhere there's a secret, I think. Now the nice part about these gloves is they attract you to your intended target. So that you can um, you can kill them quickly. Very effective. Alright, so this level uh, is called the docks. So there's gonna be some water. Because this is the 90s, the water is surrounded by a wall. That's just the way it is. Alright, the first level is going to be muscle memory, but but after this, I really don't know the levels that well. Um but crap. Oh you can jump. This is the jump version. Full of crystals now. Stuck in a wall. Um. But I saw a secret. Okay. So one of the cool things about this game is you have an inventory. You do, and uh, you can collect items and use them when you want, and they do cool things. Like this book. You can read the skull book, and, and your killing becomes more effective. You become a more talented killing machine the book. You know, I remember finding the secret here, actually. I, I don't think I ever go down there to get in, but whatever. Alright, the crossbow is, is preferable. The crossbow is preferable. Uh, okay, there's a, there's a thing. At no point as a child did I ask, why would someone build this building? And, uh, and reflecting on it now, I don't, don't really have an answer. Alright, so he's bad. Because he's ranged. He's our first ranged friend. Okay, we're gonna go through here, but we're not gonna leave yet, because this says we found three of the four secrets. And we want to find four of the four secrets. So I think there's um, there's a way to get out under that water. Somehow, there's a way. There's like a teleporter that opens up, or yeah, there it is. Creepy. That's nice. Nice. Oh, this water has current. Okay, if I just stand here, I slowly float away. Despite being easily dodged. Okay, I think we found everything except this hasn't counted as a secret just yet. Bag of holding, that's nice. Pick up more crystals. Yeah. Okay, we are uh, we are crossbowed. We are good to go. Map. So nice. 
we're going to skip all those buildings in the center and go straight to this other building, which is called the Dungeons. I bet we won't get any of that feel out of it. Keys. Need to find keys. There's there's something fun back there, as you can see. We're gonna try to get that too. Nope. Yep. Um, effective placement of doors. And now it's a good time to use this. Okay, we're now much more powerful. We shoot three bolts. Pretty much everything becomes better with the book. Like, it totally changes what the weapons are. And I like that. It's a good thing. This, this includes, you know, the creepy gloves, which become creepier. It even makes your first weapon into something, you know, worth using. Didn't get to use it once. So it has kind of a like a D and D or almost Lord of the Rings vibe to it. I mean, very superficially, I guess. Lord of the Rings. But it's kind of cool. This game, this game in general. Been meaning to play through the whole thing again. Um, it has been years. I remember the first. See, this was back in shareware days, so I, I know the first campaign better than the other two. But I'm, I'm kind of interested to see the other two campaigns. I remember the last one. It's kind of an underwater feel to it. It's neat. But I think I'm gonna play, uh, I don't know, half this campaign tonight. Come back later. Okay, so these plants are explosive. Very reason. When when they're used effectively. There we go. Shoot! Nope! 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 Don't hurt me. This is unfortunate. This is a bad situation. Okay. Oh, so close! I'm terrible at video games. No, no save. I have not saved. Let's do that again. All of it. I really didn't think I'd need to auto-save yet. Oh, not the right one. 
I don't think I've ever played this level without going down here. It's gonna take a while. I will dodge your ch charging this. I trust the ceiling, don't you? Yeah. This has always been the stupidest looking weapon I've ever seen in any video game. This, this is... Not when you use it. It's cool when you use it. I get it. But look how, look how big his hand is. It's like a giant meat hook. It's like a thigh. It's like you're sticking your leg out. It's just gross, it's so weird. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I do, I, I don't like it. smoothly than in a previous playthrough, you might remember. I still have full health. I think I had full health when I got here. It was this room. It was me taking my time in this room that was the problem. Very improved. Good. Secrets within secrets. Alright, see these hourglasses? They are bombs. They are time bombs. Hence the hourglass. Get it? Because this is like. Zero. got hourglasses. There we have them. Still two secrets left. Okay. Um, so this is called the dungeons. I haven't gotten that vibe yet. I guess maybe these are dungeons. Why? Why are the bad guys? bad things. Why are they all in the dungeon? I don't want to go in there. It's going to hurt. Not as bad as I thought. Actually. Yeah. We got the potions. These are nice. They just heal you. Just nice and simple. It's kind of a weird game for its time that you can carry around little healing items. But it, it's trying to be a role-playing game a little bit. <clears throat> okay. Maybe, maybe not. I just always got that vibe from it. Everything is magical. So in Doom, the right weapon to use most of the time is the shotgun, and well, it's the 
crossbow here. I'm not supposed to jump. I want to jump. <laughs> I don't want to find the actual like, entrance to this thing. Oh, it's right here. I think I just stand here. It goes back up, maybe? Yeah, look at that. I'm good. Uh, it doesn't count as a secret. Take care of the immediate threat. Now the secrets in this level are designated by shadows. So here we go. There's a secret. Now they make you switch to this weapon, just so you use it, so you don't burn out your ammo. But it's so terrible! It has no redeeming qualities except that you don't use it, so you always have ammo for it. And it's ranged. Which is okay, I guess. Look at this. It's like shooting a flashlight out. Sh shooting a flashlight. Shooting with a flashlight. That's what flashlights do. Is there anything in here? Well, look at that. Secret. I see the secret. Do you see the secret? So I must have gotten a map at some point. A wall. It probably goes down with this, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Another cool thing, you can fly in this game. I think that's awesome. Alright. I'm gonna save. I'm going to call this, um... Playthrough. There's a blue door. Look at that. Okay. Can I get up there? How is that not a secret? I'm actually surprised that's not considered a secret. Is there, is there a way up there? Doesn't look like it. Interesting. Okay. Well. I'm good. I don't need it. I feel that torch they gave me would come in handy, but I'm too cheap to use it. What are the hotkeys? There's gotta be a way. Uh, somewhere. Somewhere our controls. There we go. Where's the quick save? Uh. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. None of those, huh? Really? Something in here. Quick saves, I'm sure of it. Is it really here? Okay. So F6 is quick save. Okay, so how do I how do I load that now? Quick load is F9. That's okay. And one of the buttons is instantly quit. 
mistake I'm going to make. Already almost out of ammo. Okay, so, so like I was saying earlier, enemies have different forms. This particular enemy, the, the gargoyle vulture monster beast, uh, throws fireballs. Some of them throw fireballs. Satisfying when they explode, though. These guys don't drop ammo, though, for a gun that I care about. It's always painful to waste the ammo on them. These douchebags, on the other hand. Someday. Well, sometimes they drop ammo. Sometimes they do that. Right, this is going well. I see good things in my future. Whoops. Just don't hurt me. Ranged weapon. They don't scare me. There's two more. That's good. This difficulty provides you with just enough ammo to make you think you're gonna make it. And then there's more enemies than you expect. Hey, where'd you go? They're always in pairs. You always need a friend. You always you gotta have a buddy. I think these are like fallen elves, so so you're an elf. This is what you could have become. Um, except you're this universe's doom marine, and so you're way more powerful than anybody else. And incorruptible. This is that, um, that guardhouse. Alright, it's called the gatehouse. I haven't seen no gate. That was terrifying.
Okay. Thankfully someone left all this hovering booze for me. Still two secrets to find. Yeah, so this this was originally a shareware game. And being a shareware game, it had three episodes, just like every other shareware game. And the first one was free, and you could redistribute it to anyone you wanted to. The more, the better. And then you had to buy the other two campaigns, which gave you the rest of the weapons. So, um, that, the, the thigh gauntlet, that is the best weapon you can get in this episode. It's a little cheap, because in, in Doom you got the rocket launcher, so you had something powerful. Not so. But they, they do give you those books, so the books help. there's any enemy infighting in this, like there's in Doom. You have terrible aim. Oh yeah, my favorite item! Okay. So, I will use this. I will use this at some point. It's so good. Green key. Green door. Uh, I found quite the uh, little treasure trove of secrets. Nice, nice zero. Uh, uh, only good things away. Alright, so this one's a ghost. Which means only my uh, expensive weapons. For which I don't have much ammo. Okay, how are you doing? Just sneaking up on people, huh? Creepy. Kind of a creeper, eh? Now, where'd you come from? So something must have opened up because you weren't just kind of strolling through earlier. Yeah, that's new. Am I, am I slowly opening crap up to get to a secret? Is it true? Maybe? Maybe not? Stick this out a little bit again. Um, lost. When it comes to secrets. This is a fun way to play these games. That's a wall. That's a, that's a window. That's not obvious on the map. Oh, I hear someone. There's a lot of guys left! There's, there's a lot of dudes left on this map. Look at that. It's like a hundred, there's like 24 left, right? It's 117, 93. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's quite the current. It's, it's such a strong current that you feel it before you even get out there. Look at that. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna push through though. Hey, I found him. There is absolutely no reason for me to get involved in this. There's so majestic. Okay. That's, that's good. I think I'm out. I, I don't need other secrets. I, 
I don't need to kid. Why isn't it going down? Alright. Good! Oh, this song. This is good. I like this song. And this level is good. Wait, this level's called the guard- oh, the gatehouse. This is the guard tower. I think this has a, like, a city feel to it. So, they're a little nastier in the secrets for this game. In, in Doom, if you found a secret, you were probably safe. No, I can't. I can't even say that. Never, never mind. Secrets in these games are terrible. They're just extra places for traps. Optional traps. I don't remember this level. I thought this level had a town in it. That could be a totally different one. It must be. I think everyone in the county is after me right now. If, if elves have counties, what else? pissed at me right now. A lot, of, a lot of things. I guess most of them aren't, aren't people. Maybe that's why we're having such a big war fight argument here. I don't, I don't consider the, the guard of those people. Anyone who wants to kill me on sight, I just, I don't have a lot of respect for. In that department. So that's horrific. Every time they do that, I get a little freaked out, a little part of me dies. Oh. Lose. There we go. Yeah, occasionally, these, these friendly golems who like to bash you with their, their rock arms, um, occasionally they summon a, a screaming soul. To, to blast you with. It's never, never welcome, as far as I'm concerned. I'm good. I don't. I don't need that in my life. You keep your soul cannon to yourself, okay? You punch me in the face. Get it? What do you want to bet that walking on that's going to be a penalty? Going to, going to lead to injury. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust the red glowy ceilings. Well, that's convenient. There's a key. That's a, that's a good level design. Make me find the key and then reward me for it. Right away. Like I don't I don't know that I'd seen that yellow door before. Right There's some really good like, custom levels for Doom. Doom campaigns of the past few years. And there was one I played that was very involved. I mean the levels were enormous. And it was great, and I loved the like the layout and the architecture and just pushing the engine to its limits, but there's something to be said for not spending half an hour walking around looking for the orange door. You only spent an hour trying to find the orange key without knowing you were looking for the orange. So sometimes limitations are good.
That's stairs. I thought that was just, uh, that was just a drop. Okay, settle down. Hugs for everyone. was a place with a... There we go. That's cool. That looks cooler on the map than it does in the game. Ooh. It's neato. Okay, so these guys are fun. These are like the, the satanic wizards of the Heretic world. They, uh... I don't know. I don't think they're elves. I think they're, like, genuinely foreign to, to your... to wherever this is. To elf land. Oh, really? I thought there'd be something cool and exciting in there. I should use more of my items. Okay. Success. Feel good. <clears> the <throat> Citadel. Okay, now this is the one. Alright, I'll do one more level. Will I? Will I really? Okay, maybe I won't. Maybe... Maybe that's a good place to call Heretic. I think so. Alright, but, for the first time ever, that is not the only game I'm going to stream. So... Well, there are other games. But, uh, that, that's part one. Part one of Heretic. So I kind of like the idea of streaming more than one game at a time. And, uh... And I have some ideas. Do. This is gonna be weird. This is a. Uh, this is the same decade. Might be really loud. I'm kind of excited about this though. There, there we go. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh yeah. Yep. There it is. I don't know if if it can actually be seen or not. It's really hard to tell. I mean, let me fight with the uh, with um XSplit for a second here. In ca in case you don't know, that beautiful MIDI that is uh that's Age of Empires. That's the original Age of Empires. I was kind of looking forward to playing this, so it's going to bug me if this doesn't work. All right, I might have to actually go in and make it windowed. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good. No. Nope. Oh good, thank you, Windows. Always a good sound to hear. All right, stand by for the uh, the most exciting part of streaming. Well, this might have to wait. Disappointing. Th this happens to be a very old version of this game. Just part of the problem. Well, that's, uh, 
That's unfortunate. Okay, well, um, game two is a failure, but I'm not out of ideas. We're not, we're not. I've already tried Caesar three. That's a failure. So what else do we have? Okay. Okay. This is going to be good. Going to be great. So, uh, moving ahead a little bit. Another game. Another game. Yeah. I'm actually going to set it. Huh? Oh, it's not let me change it midstream. That's okay. Who needs it? I think this might work. Since the engine is a little newer. I think Xplode will be able to see it, but uh, find out pretty quick. This is another game. Your stronghold awaits you. That could be given away if you've heard it before. Um, only problem is that it's still not appearing in XSplit. What is going on? Well, that's two for two failures. Uh, okay, that was that was Stronghold, by the way. I thought the new version that came out in like 2012 would run. Not to be. Well. Well. Those were the two I had planned. So I might just cut it there. And uh, and next time, I'm not playing old games. Next time, I'm starting a very long playthrough of a less old game. What could it be? Find out. Stay tuned.